Hey, welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. Thank you so much for being with me today. I have a really fun, trendy fall project that I wanna share with you to update your wardrobe with maybe some things you already have. I'm gonna show you how to make these cool, trendy, upcycled flannels. Now you can pick up a store-bought flannel or you can find a thrift store one, or you can use something in your closet. I'm going to show you a quick technique on how you can add that distressing. Right now, a lot of people are bleaching these out so you could bleach them, or you could do this quick and easy tip by just using some folk art paint that I'm gonna water down, and I'm gonna use a toothbrush to create that very light paint splatter and give it some bigger, chunky dots. Now this, can you believe it? This was a boy's t-shirt, so you can find any cool images out there on t-shirts, and with Fabric Mod Podge, I'm gonna show you how you can attach them to the backs of flannels. You can use this for hoodies, jean jackets, you name it. So let's dive right into this project. I'm Kathy Fillion and let's get crafty. For this flannel shirt makeover, we're gonna be using a kid's t-shirt, scissors, fabric Mod Podge, some folk art multi-surface paint, and a paintbrush. To create a distressed hem, I'm gonna start by cutting off the hem. I'm just cutting right above the stitching line. And then I'm gonna use my fingers to go ahead and fray that edge. I'm going to add a little water to my full cart multi-surface paint. I'm using this paint in a cream color, but you can use any color that you want. I'm using about three parts paint to one part water. Then I'm just mixing it to combine it to create a watered down effect. Then I'm just dipping my toothbrush into it and splatter painting by moving my thumb across the bristles to create a light mist of paint over the shirt. Once this is dry, I will heat set with an iron. This is fabric safe paint. Okay, now we're ready to do the fastest applique and the easiest ever. So you're going to pre-wash whatever t-shirt you're using. I like to find t-shirts that have great fun images on them. And then I generally just cut around the image in one big shape. And then I go in with my scissors and I detail cut it. I do like to leave a little bit of the actual t-shirt material that's around the silk screen. I feel like it sticks a little bit better this way. To attach our applique, we're going to use Fabric Mod Podge. And this is a formula specifically designed to attach fabric to fabric. We're going to apply it using a brush to the back of our cutout design. And this is a thicker formula, so it's gonna go on very thick and you'll be able to, it won't soak through, but you're gonna wanna make sure you get all the way to the edges. So you'll cover the entire piece with the Fabric Mod Podge edge to edge. Next, I'm gonna be applying this to the back, so I just wanna find the center of the back of my shirt. I use a ruler for that. And then you're just going to position your cutout with the Mod Podge side down onto your shirt. Then press with your fingers and smooth out any wrinkles. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you soap and water clean up any of the Mod Podge that may seep out over the edge. Now you're just gonna let it dry for 72 hours and then you can machine wash on cold and hang dry. All right, there you have it, a really cool flannel makeover. And I guess what they say is true because when I was a kid in the 90s, these were trendy then and it looks like they're back now. All right, have fun updating your wardrobe with some fun fall fashion using a fabric Mod Podge. I'll be back here next week with some more ideas. Make sure you use those hashtags plaid crafts and Mod Podge so that everybody at plaid can see what you're making. Have a great week.